Second worst movie to have had is playing maybe the second winner movie. But this one, Charlie Backriders, is actually even worse. And his role is not the problem. It is the turn when his movie is done, and we will dive into that today. A short fire reason why this movie is bad is because of the awful structure of a where the story is not told by the right person. The story should be told from a different perspective, for instance, from Benny or Johnny, and not from this naive, evil character called Katie that, of course, is together with Benny. At times, it sort of feels more like a reality show than an actual movie. The cat is sitting in a room getting injured, you drink a coffee, and then you see some scenes from the guys in the lanterns. Sure, some movies do this, but then the storyteller is more interesting. Character, not to say cat is irrelevant to the story, but if you wanted a more authentic approach back to what happened to the club, the original story how it was me, you would have to center it more around John and Benny. That's a real flaw with the story. Where you feel it is told by the wrong person, and it feels like if you had let Lazy be a storyteller in a pick up line show, it would not be the same fucking show. It is also a mess when you have such fine actors in this one like Tom Hardy and Austin Butler that you cannot make the story be told in a better way. Because when you do not do a more straightforward move, starting with the original way the club is made, do less characters and do not abort away from this loose structure where a cat in the sun dialect keeps yapping on and on. I mean, why is she the one that knows everything about this club? In some ways, it may just be that they want a film perspective and not a real more precise one. Also, another reason why this movie is the worst movie Tom Hardy has ever played in is because he's underused in the movie. He may not have acted in his best possible way in the second one of the movie, but here as this charismatic motorcycle leader, I think he does a fine job and not only has a certain part in the movie, but he should also have been way more in. The same also kind of goes with a Benny character played by Austin Butler. It should really have been a character we also saw more scenes of instead of the empty coffee tug at a laundromat. Why did it break it with Cathy and some scenes where he rode in another club? Then we could get a more nicer nuances to the whole situation and get a more broad story. The movie has some wild with some wild scenes when Benny is roughed up inside a bar and Cathy is almost raped that creates some tension or the disorder between the many members of the club. But it should be more of that, and the reason why we don't have those seats is because of the cat character that is not too concerned with the rabbly, and on a basis side, is an annoying character to show has some insight to it all. But if we should have gotten a more wild and intense and filled story, we would have had to give a green light to see the story being told by another character. That's why for me this one is a 5 out of 10, and clearly the worst movie time artist has ever played.